I could be Jar Jar, you could be Darth Maul. Force choke you all the time. <laughs> Force choke. <laughs> so, uh, George, we're going to start off with a, a quick fire uh, word association game, just to, uh, to break the ice and start us off. Right, um, great. So I'm going to I'm going to say a film that you've been in, right? Okay. Quick as you can, just blurt out a okay. memory that you have from it. Just you okay, know. Right. Pride. We close Westminster Bridge to do the big um, march scene at the end. Private Peaceful. Jack O'Connell. Um, and playing five side football. Nice. 1970. Really long takes. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Fantastic. Doing lots of yoga in the forest. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sunshine on Leeds. Loads of singing, trying to find a note and be like, ah, 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 and never knowing when you got it until they said you got it. How I live now. Just the most blissful summer with, with all the cast and crew. Are you a good singer just going out to the sunshine? Okay, a good, uh, well, I, th I think it's like one of those things, I wasn't aware when it was good. You just try until they sort <laughs> just, of went, just try that one was okay. Yeah. You know. So. All right, so what, what I Actors have you like enjoyed working with the most? The one uh, I think that taught me most, which I don't really know if he knows how much he taught me, was Eddie Marzan. Oh, he's right. like yeah. he's so committed to his work, he's so respectful in, in how he he's operates. Like the Batman to your Robin. Yeah, yeah. And I think <laughs> yeah, if I could be his Robin, I'd be in a psycho with Eddie Marzan oh, any brilliant. day. Um, so yeah, probably Eddie. Being an actor and being a, you know, a, involved in film, obviously, what, what film? Had the most impact on you as a person. I re like what, what, when they've they've done the, like the new version of The Lion King. I used to watch The Lion King all the mm. time as a kid, and then me and my sister went to see it at the cinema when when this new one came out. And I was just like, <laughs> if I if I'm lucky enough to have kids, that's the first thing that they're gonna watch. Oh, like yeah. the life lessons in uh -huh. Lion King. Um, so yeah, mine's not as profound. Mine's The Goonies. Great, no, mine, great. Mine, mine's the good. My, my my dad showed me The Goonies back when I was like young, and it was just like that's that's why I love film. That, that's it. So good. Brilliant. I need to rewatch that. I remember because I, so I think I saw the Goonies after I saw Lord of the Rings, and right. I was like, "That's Samwise Gamgee, isn't it, <laughs> boy?" <laughs> what? <laughs> so, any fictional character? Mm -hmm. oh, you got one in your head? Right, well, but it depends. Your, what any your favorite? Yeah. Your favorite? Your, I don't know. Your favorite one that you'd be able to spend a day in the life of King Louis from the Jungle Book. <laughs> Why? <laughs> have you not heard that song? Of he's got I've the best this. life. Of course he's I've got heard the greatest. Song, he's had. A, he's having a great just a time. Day in the life of King Louis. Yeah, just maybe King Louis. Although he, th he sort of gets a bit angry at the end, so maybe Baloo. Or maybe I'll switch out to Baloo. Darth Maul for me. Baloo as well. I mean, Darth Maul. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I know he's a kind of an evil guy, but I yeah, mean, like you know. <laughs> I was thinking Darth Vader, Darth Maul, definitely. Yeah, 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 because he's got the double lightsaber. Yeah, he, he, he died too soon. I mean, I know he was a bad guy. But... He had a great. <laughs> I used to do drawings of his face, genuinely. <laughs> really? I do. I had Jar Jar Binks and. Oh, and Darth God. Maul. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I know. No. I could be Jar Jar, you could be Darth Maul. Force choke you all the time. <laughs> Force choke. <laughs> right. So, this is a bit of a departure, but um, what, what hobbies do you have? What hobbies? I play a bit of guitar. Oh, so I, I do bass guitar. Do you? Yeah. I love we should start guitar. a band. Let's do it. What kind of music do you like? Rock. Maybe do some like big, heavy Bob Dylan. Death brothers. metal. Yeah. Death metal. Mr. Tambourine Man, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Yeah. Death metal. Like that, yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> so put yourself in my um, shoes, my lovely boots. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm very happy. And, uh, can um, I have the, Can I walk away? Could, with if you could interview anyone, um, who who would you interview? Anyone at all? Yeah. Or anyone like in a, the advice industry? Advice or just for interest? Can I have two? Yeah. Why not? William Shakespeare and Gianfranco Zola. I, I would talk to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. He's just funny. <laughs> well, he's also had like the craziest career ever. I know, ever. like he like, went from bodybuilding to acting to like- to governor, governor of California. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's a great William question. Shakespeare though. Like, yeah, yeah, but he's just sort I of I think like, he'd just be like out of it the whole time. Just really? zoned out, just feeling the vibes. <laughs> we we'll just probably be like, what is all this? What is this stuff? What's <laughs> going on? What is this electricity? Yeah. So, um, when you're taking a project, when you're, you're you're picking a project, what do you look for actually in the in the script? Like, is there something that jumps out to you when you read it? It's one of two things. It's like a personal thing or an or an outside thing. Where, personally, what I feel the role could teach teach me. Mm -hmm. You stick around with a role for for much longer than the final film itself. You know, it's, yeah. it could be months of your life, and so uh -huh. therefore, what do you want to spend months of your, your life sussing out or embodying or or trying out, uh, and so trying to get a sense of what that experience might teach you is one thing that leads me to it. And then also, you're always, like, as, as when you're playing a character, you're always just a smaller, you're just one cog in a big machine oh, that yeah. is the storytelling. Uh -huh. And so being a part of, 
a story that you think is valid, like that has yeah. has a message that you think, oh yeah, I can get behind that. You, you mentioned there like being a cog in the system mm. of, of film industry, you know, like w what's your favorite part of the industry? Like, you know, good script, complex characters, you know, working with a director, what, what would you pick as what you like the most? There's something really wonderful about the, the beginning when you suss out when you suss out a character and all you've got is the initial instinct of why you want to do it or mm. why it feels yeah. right and then building building the context around mm -hmm. it building how they walk how they talk why they do all of that stuff through learning about that that beginning stage of learning is always brilliant and then excuse me like the uh, the immediacy of 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 a take yeah of a take where you're uh -huh. like you've rehearsed everyone's got all their things and that's when sort of at least for I guess in the acting together. department, like everyone's on the go. And also the last experience of filming was 1917, where yeah. everyone was on the go together during uh -huh. the take. Yeah. So I'd say that. Do you ever remember something just bizarre happening on set? Just something going wrong or just something weird or anything? <laughs> anything, what, from, from any job? Yeah, yeah. It's funny, the th one thing that comes to mind is I did a film called Hunky Dory. Uh -huh. And Christian, one of the cast, there was another girl from the cast, Kaylee, and we were trying to pick her up if she put her elbows like that and we could go under and we could squat down and lift her up. <laughs> I remember Christian doing that and his trousers splitting oh, perfectly. Geez. So that was, that's funny, <laughs> that's what came to mind. So. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'd love to ask this question to Nick Cage, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the variety, you know, I mean. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure he'd have some stories. He'd have some stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. the, the bee cage, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'd, I'd love it, <laughs> totally love it. Have you ever been like, a super fan of something, like 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 really passionate and, and really like fanny about something, you know? Yes, like I, which was why like it was really cool to meet Russell. I was a huge Gladiator fan. Uh -huh. like, I was kind of obsessed with that film. Yeah. And also obsessed with the making of. I mean I'm a I'm a big Bob Dylan fan, but I don't know oh, if yeah. I'd ever meet Bob Dylan. Um, never know. So, never know. Who knows? <laughs> he could be here in this hotel right now. I know. Well, well yeah, yeah. Well, I've got a surprise yeah. for you, George. Oh my I'm God! He's <laughs> coming in right now. Um, Do you have a life motto? Like, <laughs> give me some sage advice. Sage advice. Yeah. It's not for. Have you heard the, the thing? Everybody wears sunscreen. It's like no. a, a mashup of this speech that this lady professor in America gave to her students, and it's like all this great life advice. And one of them is <laughs> be wary of too much advice because that's just someone trying to suss out the things that they mucked up on you. You're right. So, but be kind. That's a good one. That's a, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to university and everything at the moment and uh, you know, I, I stress out about mm. a lot of st my studies and stuff and what I'm doing. And that's my main like worry that I take in. And, and you know, you've got so much on your shoulders being the, you know, in that game and stuff. What, what, what keeps you up at night? What, what's your big worry, do you think? Oh man. <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know, like, I think, it's tricky, like you just want to do do right by whatever situation you're in, and yeah. kind of and kind of I working out what the, yeah. what the right and um, what the, what is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. like, and, yeah. and I guess it's so much it's healthier, I think, to just meet those situations and and sort of act truthfully yeah. when you when you're there. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of the idea of like what's the right way to go before you get there. It's, it's who, it's who you are in the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you've been great. Thank you so much for oh. uh, for the time, and it's, it was lovely to meet you. Thank Cheers, you man. So and much. you. Yeah. Thank you very great, much. Great answers. Okay, and, good. Uh, I think I had some good questions. I well. think you did as well. Yeah, thank it was, you. It was great. It was man. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you thank very you. very much. Awesome. Nice one. Great. Cool. That was nice. really good fun. <laughs>